Welcome to CET Color's instructional web series on large format digital UV printers. Today we're going to walk you through how to properly clean and or replace the height sensor. Gather your materials. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, diagonal cutters, a feeler gauge set, zip ties, isopropyl alcohol, paper towels, a jumper wire, and a pen. Power off the printer. Refer to our instructional video on powering off the printer. Use a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the screws from the front cover. Remove the cover. Locate the height sensor. The height sensor may be located either behind the right UV lamp or in the back right side of the inside of the carriage. For this demo, you will see the height sensor behind the right UV lamp. First, unscrew the main power cable to the UV lamp. Next, unplug the J5 cable, which controls the shutter and the fan. Then, unplug the crash sensor. Now, unscrew the two mounting knobs on the inner right side of the carriage. Then, pick up and remove the UV lamp housing. Trace a line on the carriage of both the top and bottom of the height sensor mounting plate to indicate its position prior to removing the height sensor. With a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the height sensor along with the mounting plate. Remove the top cover by using the Phillips head screwdriver and removing the screws one by one. Trace the crash sensor wire to J8 on the headboard. Then unplug J8. Using a small flathead screwdriver, carefully remove the height sensor connection wires. Note, take note as to the exact location of each wire that you remove. Using the diagonal cutters, carefully remove any zip ties that may be connected to the wires. Once completely disconnected, use the isopropyl alcohol to remove any dust or residual ink from the height sensor. Wipe down the height sensor with paper towels. Note, allow to air dry completely. Test the limit switch on the height sensor using your finger. When pressed, the limit switch will produce a slight clicking sound. Inspect the foot portion of the height sensor. It should have a smooth, unrestricted movement. At this point, decide whether or not to clean or replace the height sensor. Remount the height sensor. Note, make sure to replace the height sensor within the markings you created in the beginning to indicate the original position of the mounting plate. Replace J8 height sensor connection wires, making sure to replace them in the same location that they were removed from. Now that the height sensor is fully connected, we want to verify the proper distance between the bottom of the jet plate and the table. Power on the printer. Refer to our instructional video on powering on the printer. With the right hand UV lamp still removed, Plug in the jumper to the crash sensor plug. Now go to the monitor. Open the CET print controller and go to the testing and calibration page. Select the icon for the revised height datum test. Note, make sure you run the revised height datum test with no materials on the table. Once the revised height datum test is completed, Use the right-hand arrows on the testing and calibration page to move the carriage over the table. Use the feeler gauge to confirm that the distance between the bottom of the jet plate and the table is 1.7 millimeters. If the revised height datum test does not provide the proper distance, you may need to adjust the height sensor itself. Note, if the jet plate is too far away from the table, you will need to raise the height sensor within the slotted mounting plate. If the jet plate is too close to the table, you will need to lower the height sensor within the slotted mounting plate. 
In order to perform this, carefully loosen the mounting screws and gently slide the mounting plate up or down according to your need. Now go to the monitor. Open the CET print controller and go to the testing and calibration page. Select the icon for the revised height datum test. Note, make sure you run the revised height datum test with no materials on the table. Once the revised height datum test is completed, use the right hand arrows on the testing and calibration page to move the carriage over the table. Use the feeler gauge to confirm that the distance between the bottom of the jet plate and the table is 1.7 millimeters. Now that we've confirmed the proper distance, you will need to replace any zip ties that may have been removed. Now reconnect the right hand UV lamp. Remove the jumper. Screw in the two mounting knobs on the inside right side of the carriage. Plug in the crash sensor. Plug in the J5 cable, which controls the shutter and the fan. Finally, plug in the main power cable. Replace the top cover using your Phillips head screwdriver. Replace the front cover. Then print and test print and run the height detection when the pop-up window appears on the screen prior to running the test print. Observe and confirm that the height sensor is performing properly. And that's how to properly clean and or replace the height sensor on a CET color large format digital UV printer.